better is it to be talking to us about scoring goals instead of not scoring goals? Yeah, way better. Um, better be talking after wins too. So, um, yeah, it's it was a really good performance. That's more like us, more what we know we can do. So just gotta build, just gotta build on that. How important is getting that opener when you did? Yeah, very important. I mean, they're they're a good team. Um, you know, they play a, a you know an interesting style, really compact. So. For us to get a goal early on, I think it helped open up the game a little bit. Then we created chances from there. We're playing with more confidence. And then the second one, obviously, was a killer for them. So to, to get an early goal, it, it obviously helps us a lot. You know, it's you didn't get the win against RSL, but you know that's two straight home games against two of the best teams in the Western Conference, where you guys stood toe to toe with them. Uh, what does that do for the for the confidence and, and just sort of? You know, looking at the, the rest of the second half of the season? Yeah, I mean, I think it shows we can play with anyone and um, on our day. And, and for us, again, I, I think I mentioned it last week, if a few things bounce our way or we're able to hold out games, we have six, eight more points, and, and, and the table looks a lot different. We're, we're up there a little bit. So we know on our day we're good enough to play with anyone in the league, and, you know, hopefully we, we showed that today. And glad our, our home form needs a turnaround, so I'm glad we could put in a good performance in front of our fans. Um, but, yeah, just keep building on it, keep climbing, climbing the table. But we know how good we can be. And... Um, yeah, it was a it was a great performance to, to show that. In a game like this, where you are able to sort of do all the stuff at the end of the game that you guys have been talking about not being able to do, is that just as simple as a better mentality, or was there something that you were doing better execution wise that were able to, to do that? Uh, that's what they're really saying over there. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know. It's a good question. Um, I think you know. Obviously, we kept the ball really well. They were chasing, chasing for a while. I thought we got in behind them really well today. Um, so it, it, it um, maybe potentially dropped their lines a little bit. We were able to keep good possession because um, they were worried about that. That uh, you know, getting in behind from from a few different players. So yeah, it was a combination of those things. Obviously, we got the second goal, which is the most important one for us. We've been holding on to one zero leads, but when you get that second goal, we're, we're way more comfortable. So we. And then I thought we kept the ball really well and, and tired them out, shifted them side to side. And um, so yeah, it was it was better execution for sure. But the second goal makes all the difference in that. A win on the 50th anniversary. Do you have a message for the fans to to get them to, to help pack them into the stands throughout the season, and in general, what this win means to you on the 50th anniversary? Of the game? Yeah, I mean it's a special day. Um, you know. Uh, Obviously not a final, but when the fans were holding up kind of the stuff before the game reminded me of the 2019 final and kind of that atmosphere. Um, we, we owe it to them to, to be better at home. So obviously we're, we're, we're happy with the result, happy with the win, and to see all the former players out here um, to kind of understand the history of this club, what it meant to see the trophies out there before the game, to know that that's the standard of this club and, and what we feel like we should be pushing for every year. I think it, it showed in our performance um, today. The guys were inspired and by, by all the, the celebrations and everything surrounding uh, surrounding the day. So um, I guess message to the fans is we'll, we'll keep pushing in that direction, keep climbing the table, and again, push for trophies this year because we know we have the team to do it. Does it feel cathartic to finally win a game where you put the team away after you went up? Yeah, definitely. The, you know, that's something that we've been working on. Like I said, getting the second goal was important because previous games we were holding on to the one nil lead. And I, I thought once we scored, we stayed on the front foot. In the second half, we didn't come out. We weren't passive. We were uh, still pressing, still trying to create opportunities. Um, could have had you know, two or three more goals, I think. So it, it was good to see us you know, not just sitting back and being passive, but, but taking the game to them still at 1-0, then getting the second one, you know, put the game away uh, a bit. So um, we got to keep, keep playing like that when we go up 1-0. Do you look at this at all as a, as a cathartic, or as fitting that two Seattle kids score uh, on a day where you guys are celebrating. Yeah, I didn't really history. think about that, but that's pretty cool and, and uh, happy for Paul. Obviously, he's a, a, a great a great pro. Schmetz uh, mentioned it after the game to the group. He trains really hard every day, was ready for his opportunity and, and came in and, and, and did really well and um, and obviously scored a, a big goal for us. But that's cool to see two Seattle guys on, on a big day celebrating the team score like that and, and help the team win. You got a goal in the last four of the five, uh, four of the last five games now. Uh, what has changed from the start of the season, or to like really ramp that up? Is it like a cohesion? Is it just performance? Yeah, I think you know a little bit of of, of both. And um, again, I thought there were chances at the beginning of the year that um, a little unlucky things like that that just weren't quite bouncing my way, weren't quite bouncing the team's way. Um, so you know, as a goal scorer, you, it comes in waves, and you gotta you gotta 
you got to know that, you know, I felt like at the beginning of the year nothing was going in and now, you know, things are going in and, and I got to try not to get too high or, or too low as a, as a, as a, as a goal scorer. So you just got to ride the wave a little bit, um, keep training hard, keep working hard. That's been my, my mentality. And um, for me, yeah, obviously happy to be, be scoring some goals, but, but more happy obviously with the te team winning and I'm just going to go out and, and try to help the team win every time I, every time I play. So last couple. Well, yeah, good. A quick turnaround on Wednesday against Houston. Uh, this is arguably, you would say, maybe one of the best performances you had this season. What's the message going in, especially, you know, Houston just being, you know, right near you in the playoff race? Yeah, we want to jump them. Obviously, we know going to Houston, playing there, they're a good team, and it's going to be tough. It's going to be hot. <clears throat> it's always a tough place to go play in the summer. And so we're going to need everyone, obviously, coming from a short, short, uh, short turnaround and then having a home game on the weekend. Um, it's not not easy. That's the difficult part about MLS is a lot of travel, difficult environments to go play in. But there's a massive game because they're right uh, right above us, I think, and like you said. And, and we want to keep keep climbing the table. So uh, the message is to recover well, to to learn what we did well today, and try to put that into into action against Houston. But it'll be a different game. It'll be hot there. It'll be tough to you know tough to play, obviously. So we got to figure out uh, how to go get a result there. Now that's been there. last one. Now that's been a couple months. Is there any update on how it's like being a father? Oh, it's the best. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm incredibly grateful, and um, yeah, Theo, he's grown quick. Um, just really, really, really happy to be a, a dad. And like I've mentioned before, puts all this in perspective. I go into him, he's laughing, smiling, doesn't care how the game went. So um, I love that guy, and yeah, it's it's been it's been a ton of fun.